Hey, my name is Ryan Leak. I'm an author and speaker from Dallas, Texas. And the verse of the day is 1 John 4, verse 7. It says, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Have you ever thought about who's included in the one another? Like, wouldn't it be ideal for you and for me if we could, you know, like, choose our one another? Wouldn't we love? If we only had to love certain family members, but not all family members, some friends, but not all friends, some neighbors, but not all neighbors, you know, you got them neighbors, some co-workers, but not all co-workers. I think I'm intrigued by this verse because it's like God's going, hey, love is my thing. You don't get to decide who's worthy of it and not. No one was worthy, but I made it so that everyone could receive my love by sending my son to die. Love comes from me. And I think sometimes we want to love God and tolerate his people. Most of us live with this narrative that the way we love others is by putting up with their petty nonsense. And our contribution to society is by showing them grace. So sure, I guess we could add them to our one another list if we have to love as if no one is putting up with us in our petty nonsense. While we're tempted to pick and choose who's in our one another, I thank God that I've made some of my family and my friends and my colleagues list of one another's. And I'm extremely grateful that I made God's and that he chose to love me despite my flaws and despite my shortcomings. And in light of the fact that a perfect God continues to show a flawed me mercy every single morning, well, then I guess I could make a little bit of space on my one another list for other people too. And I think that you can do the same. That's what I want you to think about today. Amen. To God, Yahuwah, be the glory. Through Jesus Christ, Yahusha HaMashiach, my Lord. Amen.